kilometers. I don't know how many days it's going to take, but it's going to be interesting. Water levels are really low. And the water's down. Alright, we're just coming out on Beaver House here. I managed to single carry that 500 meters, no problem, so that all looks good. The water is super low. There's going to be a few places on the trip that are going to be difficult, to say the least. I'm going to head across Beaver House and 200 meter portage into Quetico Lake. And then uh, all the way down Quetico, find a campsite, and we'll be headed. I am alone, solo and alone, and uh, the way I'll be for nine days should be interesting right now the breeze is at my back so that's good on our way well getting a little bit of a shower which i figured i would today no biggie first day is always fun Beaver House now, so heading for the portage to Quinnico. Wow, this uh, river is way down. Like I bet you a foot and a half, if not more. I've never seen it this low. Two years ago we were through here and it was uh, up over all these rocks. So at least a foot and a half, if not more. Definitely going to have to walk up here. Wow, that's weird. Have you ever seen a squirrel swim? There's a squirrel swimming. A red squirrel. That is weird. Okay. This little swift water here is way down, so I'm gonna have to walk up here. Now that I'm getting spun around. Thank you. 
All right, now I get in the canoe for 60 feet across, get back out again. I'm going around a set of rapids over there where there's a, a old wooden dam. This trail used to be an old road. Pretty muddy landing. I'll go try the other one just around the corner here. There's another one. This landing looks a bit better. Starting to rain again. Quetico. Now we're into Quetico. That was the last portage for today, anyways. Only had two today, it's not too bad. Water is way down. I keep saying that, but it's going to affect me when I hit the uh, Gene Creek because uh, the water was low there before when it was high. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen there. Might be as far as I get, who knows. All these rocks over here are usually all submerged. Those are always submerged. Alright, we got a little bit of a river here and then we get onto uh, the lake, the open lake. So. Hopefully it's not too windy out there. Off the, there's one open section when we first come into it, but then I'll have to hug the left shore if the wind's coming out of the northwest or southwest. Sorry. I moved the bag back to the back of the canoe where I'm used to it, so see how that goes. I think with the wind on your stern, that's a better place for it. I got the uh, the bigger bee free, the one liter now, so I also brought the uh, 600 milliliter with me back up.
I don't know, we're just coming out onto Quetico Lake here. All these logs you see in here, these are all cut by man. They were all uh, part of the logging drive way back when, when uh, Quetico was logged. They just imagine this whole river just packed with logs. It's all part of the old lo river drive. Get the logs to the paper mill. It's raining again. family of otters there. Okay, this looks like it's uh, home for night one. Still pretty breezy and it's been raining off and on. I did uh, almost 22 kilometers. So I think that's enough for today. On a little point here. Still got some uh, nasty looking clouds heading this way. Trying to get the tent set up. Probably set it right there. Get some dinner going. Big site here, but uh, a lot of it is uh, pretty useless. <laughs> Lots of rocks. Pretty beat. I think that's. Uh, Pretty good for our first day, especially having to drive almost three hours here. Got the tent set up. That took some doing as I haven't set it up for two years. <laughs> I'm just uh, sitting here relaxing. Got my chair here to relax on. Waiting for the wind to die down a bit. It's still only uh, like 3.30 in the afternoon, so Wait for the wind to die down and then I can have a, a fire and maybe cook some cook some food. See if I can go catch some fish maybe. I 
I'll give my back a rest. It's pretty sore. I'm not sure what it's going to do tonight. Forecast was for uh, rain stopping, but clouds staying for tomorrow. Sunny for a few days and then some more rain, so we'll see. Well, wind has picked up quite a bit. I'm sure glad I got off the lake. Be a tough paddle into that. Kind of mostly cloudy, a little bit of sun, but uh, it's the way it is. Morning, everybody. Um, <laughs> it's cold out. I don't want to get out of a sleeping bag. That's the problem with the small tent. It's all screen. There's no panels. Like my two-man tent has panels that zip up, keep the heat in. But uh, guess I gotta get up. It seems to be light out. <laughs> I don't know what the weather is, but I am to get going. I guess. All right, get some water boiling and just make some oatmeal. Quick breakfast, packed up the tent, just got to eat and run. <laughs> it's kind of windy all night, it's still windy up high but on the lake it's uh, not bad right now so we'll see how it goes. It's uh, 818. I'm on my way into the wind again. Day two. Let's see how we do. This is going to be fun. Alright, finally made the turn, paddling into the wind all the way up Quetico. Now we just got a short section down this little bay and then we'll be portaging into Kronk. Nice, about 120 meter portage uphill. Coming up on the portage into Conk. We're gonna go around the little little tiny falls and rapids. There's been an old little dam there for logging days.
everything. This is only 120 meters, but it's a little steep and rocky to start here. All right, we're into Conk now. It's got to go across Conk, and then we got a 180 into Jean. Be interesting to see how the wind is on uh, Jean. Probably have to go straight into it again. Jean Lake now. That should be interesting once we get out of this little bay. Let's see which way the wind is going. Well, I'm going to be into the wind. So, it's going to be got six kilometers to go up this lake. I think I'm gonna have to hug this shore all the way up as much as I can and then cross at the very end. I can see white caps on the other side of the lake. Once I get around this little point I'll know for sure. in the shore and uh, it's been not too bad going. I'm getting down to the, uh, the more narrow end of the lake now so it should be all right from now on. I think I gotta go out and across pretty shortly here. Just a given her. I just pick one point at a time and go for that point paddle 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 go to the point Take a little break behind the lee of the point and and then continue. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> the turn going downwind a bit now we got to go through little narrows here and then keep on going
lot of ground in here. Yeah, I don't know if that's focusing or not, but you can see the triangle where I am there, right on that little point. We're heading that way. I got uh, two and a half kilometers to go before I hit the portage. And it looks pretty big 1,312 feet. So, whatever that is. <laughs> Sure. I'll have to go down and see if I can find it. Hopefully, I don't have to come back up this way. Okay, I had to come back up. So, I think that's it there. There seems to be a trail going off in the bush, but that's nowhere near where the map is marked or anything. So, I'm going to have to uh, get the stuff out of the water and go check out the trail.
This is Burnt Side Lake. This is about a 450 meter portage, so I go go back for the canoe. I'm getting tired, and that uh, paddling into the wind like that just beat the hell out of me. So once I get back across here, I take a little break. If you can see the adult eagle there, there's a nest just to the left of them, and there's a uh, young eaglet standing there on top of the nest. Looks like he's working on his wings. Hey, we're just coming up to the end of uh, Burnside Lake. This is uh, the first portage along Jean Creek. So this is the part of the trip that uh, I think might be interesting. There's not a lot of water in the creek to begin with. Okay, I don't know how long this portage is. Maybe uh, two or three hundred meters. I hope, I hope it's not a slog through mud down the creek. We'll see you though. Alright, so you can see why you can't get down the creek. Portage is only about 100, 100 meters long. Not as, th not as long as I thought. Just a little meandering path through the weeds for a while. That's what I'm hoping is uh, deep and not shallow. Get out of here and get on to Sturgeon and find a campsite. Alright, Gene Creek. It gets much worse than this. So, this isn't bad at all. Hopefully it stays like that. Okay, this is where it's going to get interesting. Let's see what we got here. see a portage marked here. I'm just gonna have to carry over the dam here and launch again into the creek and that should be fun too. Get some logs here and roll this thing on the log. Right, see how this works. Uh, 
Alright, that worked pretty slick. We're in the creek now, so let's see how she goes. beaver dam here and we got a portage on the left so looking at the beaver dam I think we're going to be portaging around yeah there's all kinds of trees down and debris in the way and there's no water <laughs> okay another portage That wasn't very graceful, was it? Another uh, short little portage. Not too bad. Just around some uh, shallow creek. Put in's a little uh, more difficult though, the shallow water. swamps. Mosquitoes are coming out now too. Make sure I got everything. <laughs> I don't know if I've lost anything or not. Okay, this is really shallow so might have to walk it out here. Okay, hopefully this is the last beaver dam obstacle. We're into the, the skinny lower part of the creek now, so it looks like uh, other people have been here before me.
Looks like we got one more pull over Beaver Dam. We made it. Sturgeon Lake. Now we got a long, long, long way up Sturgeon, but not today. I'm gonna look for a campsite right shortly here. It's four o'clock now. Been at this since uh, 8.20 this morning. I've gone uh, almost 24 kilometers. And it's time to find a campsite. All right, it's looking like home for the night. Okay, here's the here's the teal. Uh, my back is killing me. It's not uh, my sciatic, sciatic's not letting up at all. It's uh, really bothering my legs. It's hard to. Uh, do the portages and especially just sit in the canoe for so long. Um, I'm on to Sturgeon now. Not going back the same way I came, but I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna head for the nearest exit, which is still three days away. And I don't have a phone. And I gotta hope that somebody watching my spot decides that I'm not supposed to go there, and that maybe they should go pick me up. <laughs> So, I have a look at the map. It's really a pain in the ass. This wind is not letting up. I don't know. I've never quit anything like this in my life, so maybe this is the end. I don't know. Good morning everybody. Uh, day three. I've uh, decided that my back's not going to make it to the whole trip so I'm going to have to head for the nearest exit which is still three days away so I'm not going back through that swamp stuff. It's easier paddling up the lakes and just doing uh, portages although there's one long portage a kilometer long but I'll work my way through it. It's unfortunate I'm disappointed but what are you going to do? I'm not going to get stuck way down south and not be able to do anything. So, anyways, I'm on Sturgeon Lake and uh, I'll be on my way. Sturgeon Lake just coming into Sturgeon Narrows now um, my back is not letting up at all I just ran into a uh, nice couple Randy and his wife uh, thanks for 
sending a message for me on their inReach. Give uh, my pickup crew a heads up where I'm going. Still got a long ways to go though. the last portion of uh, sturgeon now I'm halfway across the last portion of uh, sturgeon lake and the winds picked up I'm past the, the worst part anyways this part shouldn't, shouldn't be as bad since the wind is coming from that direction I'm gonna get up and uh, when I was talking to Randy he said uh, video but I'm still canoeing anyways hoping to get home soon Of Sturgeon Lake. I'm just in the Pickle River here. I just got to go across one more little tiny open section and I can hit uh, De Riviere and get out of this wind. The wind has been crazy today again. This morning was nice, this afternoon not so nice. I just want to roll out of the canoe and die right now pushing her all day just to get closer to getting picked up. <laughs> We're having fun now. Now oh, this should be fun. <laughs> like a maze through here. Shallow water and any mini mighty mo.
on to Twin Lakes now. I think I'm going to tackle the 750 out of here into Dory. That'll put me within striking distance of Stanton Bay tomorrow, weather permitting. This is the start of the portage to Door Lake, and I see if I can get a campsite in Door for tonight. It's been a long haul, be over 30 kilometers. It's still uh, fairly early. I think it's like 1:30 in the afternoon, so I've got time. Let's take my time over the portage. All right, stick a fork in me. I'm done. Whew. We're on to Door Lake. Just have to find a campsite now. If you can see in the water there, that's part of an old, old raft or barge from the old logging days. pretty good even on Dora Lake. It's not an overly big lake. This is home for the night, hopefully just the last night. Pushed it today, 30.5 kilometers. It's uh, three o'clock now, so get a good rest tonight. And hopefully the wind cooperates tomorrow morning. We get across Pickerel. You gotta be very careful when you use these little cat tin stoves. They, uh, if you spill them, you can't see the alcohol. Like it's on right now, it's hot. If you spill it, the alcohol goes everywhere, the flames go everywhere, and you can't see them. And it seemed to take two times, two fills, two ounces to, to boil the water this time. I think the wind got to it the first time. The wind's calmed down a bit now, so... A little bland, but not bad. So 
So I bought this one liter B free filter by Cadadin about a year and a half ago after I used the first one which was uh, 600 milliliters and on this trip, this is the first trip with it I don't know if you can see that but a little tiny pinhole right there okay. I don't know how that would have happened it's right on the seam so, oh well. Use it till she bursts. I brought the other one with me just in case, anyways. Just wanted to show you. Look at the uh, pyrite that's in that rock there. That's pretty cool. Fool's gold. I also want to show you what uh, people do to trees. I don't know why. All the axe marks in there. Every single tree. on this point has axe marks in it and I don't know why maybe they're trying to kill the tree to get some firewood because there's no firewood on this island anymore Sun is going to be going down shortly. Wind still hasn't died down totally yet. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Hopefully, tomorrow it's calm. Day four on Door Lake and it's foggy. Hopefully that sun will burn it off quick. On the water, 810. I only have about 15 kilometers to go, so. And uh, two portages. I think they're about 400 and just over 400 each. Fog's lifted. And uh, we're set to go. Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up. Second last portage. I already brought my pack across. Just carrying the canoe across. Last portage is up to the parking lot once I get across Pickerel Lake. Hopefully the winds stay calm. Up in the wood. Uphill. It really hurts my back and my lower my legs. Once I get up to the flats, should be okay though. It's just this first part. Okay, there's some uh, pulleys 
And that actually looks like part of the engine, steam engine. You can see the boiler rotting over there. I think this was an old steam tug. Yeah, you can see the shaft coming off. And actually the propeller. There's a little propeller back in there. This is Pine Bay Quatico, or sorry, Quatico Park Provincial Pickerel Lake. That's pretty cool. Stanton Bay, straight ahead, or the entrance to it anyways. Wind's starting to pick up. Got here just in time. I think he's content sitting up on that branch. See a turtle on the middle one there? Alright, this is the last portage. I already brought the pack up barely. <laughs> uh, it's 470 meters. Part of it's boardwalk at least. But the first part is uphill and painful. But you don't want to hear me whine. <laughs> Half of what I was aiming for, so I guess it was kind of a big mistake. Just trying to distance when I knew my back was not up to it. Oh well, everybody can say, I told you so. <laughs> Get this done and wait for my ride. Hopefully my ride is within a day or two. <laughs> Hopefully today, but you never know.